song, everybody. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to your favorite Tuesday evening show. It's one of those things people hear on TJ Warren TV. We have a lot to talk about. It was a big weekend for Arsenal. It was a big weekend for the channel. It was a big weekend as the Premier League returned. Big up everybody in the chat that is already inside. I see Jesse. I see Ravi. I see Connor. I see AJ. I see Joanne. What's up, people? I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much. I know everybody and their mother is streaming right now, so the fact that you are here is incredible, and it helps the channel grow. Speaking of the channel growing, we gained 100 subs this past weekend, and I'm not bragging, and it may have just been because there was a bunch of Arsenal fans that wanted to spite Jacob. Either way, we appreciate everybody that has subscribed to the channel. We are... 57 subs away from that elusive 1K, people. That elusive 1K. So make sure that if you are new, make sure that you are liking the thing, sharing the thing, and subscribing to the thing. 1K is on the way, people. Speaking of speaking of people that need to be on 1K, Vader is in the chat. Vader, um, he says T minus 60 minutes. T minus 60 minutes to what, Vader? I don't have anything going on tonight. I don't um I I don't have any plans. I am I'm going to just stick in, you know, just stick stick to myself here, drink a diet coke. I got nothing going on after this. No, just kidding. We got American Waffle going coming on immediately at 6 o'clock Central Time, 7 o'clock Eastern Time and of course 1 a.m. now that the clocks have changed out there in the UK. Big up Vader every single time. No more watch alongs with you. The feeling is mutual because that was a, I mean, I don't want to say it's a dead game. People are calling it a dead game. Let's just get into it. I don't think it was a dead game at all. I thought it was um, sloppy. Um, Obviously no goals, but there were, there were action. I mean, there was action in it. I know people, people are talking about it. Like it was a snooze fest. I don't think anybody was snoozing. I just think that the quality of football wasn't good. And both, both clubs played to not lose. Like that's just the way it is. And we got a nil nil out of it. I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I'm not happy either. I mean, people are already, um, and I know, let me know if you guys feel this. Um, <laughs> let me know if you guys are feeling this. If you're Arsenal fans, we're getting accused of celebrating a draw. I'm not celebrating shit. We might've just lost the league. I, I think we needed to win the win the league. And it was uh, disappointing to not get that win, especially with the with the chances that we had. And obviously, we got dominated in the possession stat, but who really cares? I think we had more quality chances than Man City did, more shots on goal than, than Man City did. And everybody's going to be asking at the end of the season when we, we inevitably get second or third, Ooh, what if um, – <laughs> who, who was that on the side? What if uh, – God, who filled in for Jesus? I'm already, I'm already, um, I'm already dragged here. What if Trossard had passed? What if Trossard had passed? Give me a break. It is what it is. We lost. Who gives a shit? <laughs> or we didn't lose. It feels like a loss, but we drew. So who cares? But big up Vader. Big up Vader. All the all the legends are already in the chat. Tibor Qua, Tibor Courtois is in the chat, people. Okay, the Tibor Courtois. Thank you for subscribing, Tibor. Um, if you are new, my friend, make sure that you like the thing. My guy. Yeah, I know it's still midnight there, but American Waffle is at one. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. You're right. Because I'm. we're doing it an hour earlier. Never mind. It is midnight. Midnight UK is when American Waffle is. So it's because it's 11.06 there right now. Sorry, Connor. My head is absolutely gone, bro. Jaminio says, we drew and apparently we're a disgrace to football. Liverpool drew at the Eddie Had and media <laughs> practically celebrates with them. If we lost, then we'd be getting cooked. Keep the wyverns out. Rattled. Yeah, no, I mean, th they want... We are the big bad, and uh, we are the elephant in the room. As as much as everybody, as much as everybody says it, everybody wants to to shit on Arsenal. But honestly, like we, Arteta played that game to not lose. Um, we had some chances going forward, but they weren't quality. Um, obviously, we had the we had two. I would say we had two real quality chances. The short side shot from. Um, 
Trossard and then the pass and, and that I think should have been a pass and the couple of chances that Jesus got. But, I mean, Jesus and Saka didn't show up. We had no outlet on the wing. The quality going down the wings was really, really bad. I, I'm I'm actually shocked that – well, I'm not shocked that Jesus didn't show up, but I'm shocked that Saka didn't show up in a big game like that. In a big game with so much media attention on it, everybody's saying that this is the title. But we – we I don't want to say we bottled it, but we 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 squandered a golden opportunity there. But yeah, keep, keep the rivals rattled, but the rivals are probably going to win the cup, unfortunately, or pro probably going to win the league, unfortunately. Worst game I've ever seen. I think that's overstating the fact. Joanne says I was snoozing, but my my friend who was boring boring me more than the football. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fair. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I thought I didn't think it was it was boring. I just thought the quality was bad. That's that's it. That's it. I'm not completely pissed off, but a win definitely would have been ideal. Yeah, I would have definitely um, dunked. I would have dunked on people. I'm hearing Will comparing Moussa Dembele to Declan Rice. Um, what? Uh, yeah, what? Will Will's a little wild for me sometimes. I uh, big up Will. He's back. Big up Will Stewart. I'm glad he's back, but he's he's gone. He's 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 boop, boop, like what is. Who who does that? Anyway, thank you, AJ. Yes, we are 57 subs away from 1K, the elusive 1K. When we hit 1K, ooh boy, me, Connor, and Dal are going to throw a party on this channel that you would never believe. The 1K celebration party will be lit. We will have special guests that will be, uh, that you'll know. Let's just say that you'll know. Arteta shits on Arsenal and no one else needs to do it. Eh. Arteta, I, I think Arteta played that game as well as he could have, honestly. That's, that's, I, I don't, it, it, you're playing, you're, you're playing chess against yourself essentially on that one. I think, I think the lack of quality in the squad didn't help either. His players didn't help him very much. His, his defensive players were great. Obviously I thought it was a great performance from Declan Rice, Saliba, Gabrielle, Kiwi are put in a shift. White was really, really good, but come on. Like our, our offensively, we were shit. We were awful on the offensive side of the ball. Havertz, not very good. Saka and and Rice shocking like one of the worst games I've seen them play in the shirt like really really bad so you know if we didn't have that if we didn't have performances from the defensive side of the ball that we did I think we would be having a different conversation right now I think we would be very very upset um because it could have easily been a one or one or two nil just based off of the um based off of what Man City were throwing at us, but we kept them pretty quiet. We kept that freaking Norwegian Frankenstein quiet. Does everybody, is everybody still rating Holland as like this world-class talent? Is anybody, is anybody still rating that guy as a, as a world-class talent um, since he's come back from that injury? I mean, obviously he got five, that, those five goals against Luton in the cup, but I mean, are we still saying like that? He's like this all around football player. Are we really are we really gonna say that right now? After he got absolutely pocketed, he, he he got look like he got made to look like a kindergartner by Saliba and Gabrielle and Vader. You can say this all you want all you want, but I I haven't done anything to get barbecued or cooked or anything like that. I'm not getting cooked. You're getting cooked. You guys couldn't beat us at your own ground. We took four points off you this season. Why am I getting barbecued? If anybody's getting barbecued, it's you, dude. Like all this chess that you're coming out with. Man, you, I, 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 would, I would be careful with what you say, bro. That's all I'm going to say. I'd be careful with what you say. And this is why I think it's a ridiculous comparison, Jaminho. That's why. De Rice and Dembele are completely different roles. How do you compare the two? How do you compare the two? That's all I'm saying. First team to top city from scoring at their ground since 2021. Yep. And yes, I get that. But how about from an all-around perspective, Strasbourg? That's all, that's all I want to know. How about from an all-around perspective? Like there, there are training videos of him coming out, of him playing kick around with the boys, and he's the the quality of him compared to other people on the ball is not great. Like obviously he's an incredible finisher. Don't get me wrong, but from an all-around footballer standpoint, is he really the guy? Is he really the guy? That's all I'm saying. I never said we had the best attack. I never said we had the best attack. You're putting words in my mouth again, Vader. You're uh, we have the best attack. No, I never said that. I never said that. We we have the most goals. I never said that we had the best attack. 
Uh, it, actually, and if you and if we want to get into this further, for the amount of goals that we have and the attack that we have, it's pretty impressive. It's because the goals are coming from everywhere. It's coming from it's coming from Gabriel. How many how many goals does Gabriel have since the beginning of the year? Like he scored. I think he's the highest scoring CB in the league. Somebody check somebody check me on that. But yeah, who has the best attack? Liverpool. Liverpool does. If you're talking purely front line, Liverpool. Or or you trailing trailing behind that. Liverpool, in terms of quality up top, rivals what you have up top. Just saying. And and where was Phil Foden too? I thought I thought the English star boy was supposed to come out and uh and do a job. What happened to him? He did his best Mason Mount impression, is what happened. But yeah. Him and Romero have the joint most goals from CB. Well, there you go. Dang it. And now I gotta now I gotta concede that point to Jacob. Dang it. Him and Romero have the best most joint goals from CB. Is that since the beginning of the season or is that all season, Jaminio? Is that all season? Keep getting your questions in, guys. I'm really enjoying this. I love it when the show goes off the rails. And it makes me really happy because uh this will be my last footballing stream um until the eleventh of April. I'm gonna be missing three games. Um, because I'm going on vacation with my wife. This was before I figured out that all these games were going to get moved around and we were going to be playing Bayern in the Champions League. I did not think that we were going to get this far in the Champions League. I'm not going to lie. When I made these when I made these plans, I didn't. So um, obviously I'm going to miss Luton, but the watch along will go forward because Connor is going to fill in for me. CMO Sports, Connor the man. He will be filling in for me on the watch along here on TJ Warren TV. So please make sure that you come to the channel and smash a like and support Connor and supporting me because this guy's an absolute freaking legend coming on to coming on and running a watch along on my channel. What a guy. And he did this freaking on the road one for the road little background here. I like it a lot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm I am. I'm I'm saluting you, my friend. I'm saluting you. Yes. Hi, May. What up, my May? I hope you're well, man. Are you are you going to LA or are you going to Philly this year? Let me know. We'll we'll meet up for a beer. Um, but yeah, no, we're so Connor will be live um prior to the Luton game. 15, I 15, 30 minutes prior to the Luton game. Uh just keep an eye on the community page, people, as well. And shoot your and hit the notification bell as well, people, as well. What else are you guys saying? Thank you so much. Yeah, no, this has been something. And um, people were calling me, certain people in the American Waffle Chat were calling me a fraud. And I'm like, you know what? I, I, I enjoy being married more than I enjoy being a YouTuber, shock, shockingly enough. Um, so uh, if I stream on this vacation, I won't be married anymore. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to stop streaming for a week. I, I don't think that's too much. Hi, May. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll see you in Philly then, bro. I'll see you in Philly, man. I'll see you in Philly. I think Luton Town get a draw tomorrow. I got a weird feeling. Get out of here with this. That gives me more confidence. I think we're going to win. Big up the guys inside. Make sure you're smashing the likes. Let's get this video up to 25 likes before I have to go over to American Waffle and absolutely cook this absolute fraud Mike Doss and uh, that fraud Vader. Uh, Staffy's okay, I guess. Um, Jacob... Jacob Drew, so we get to cook him too. <laughs> we get to cook freaking Jacob Hall Raven from the United Spurs of America. I can't wait. I think that fraud's on the terrace right now, actually. Doss fraud. Yes, absolutely. Doss is a fraud. You suck. Very well put. You can't cook me, bum. Top of the league. You're, you were lucky to get by um, the Seagulls. You almost got shit on by the Seagulls, bro. Danny Welbs freaking putting one on your head top, bro. You're lucky to get out of there. I'm getting the same three, three, three capitulation vibes from this game tomorrow. I'm getting four. I think we win four one. I think they scare. I think they score first, and then we we come back and and beat them three or four one. Honestly, I'm I'm predicting a four one tomorrow. Um, I will be watching it from the car, but yeah, I'm going on a road trip to Arkansas down through Texas, so I'll be in Jacob Fraud. I mean Wal Wal Raven Land. Um, going through Austin. I won't be going. I won't be going to El Paso, but. Um, I'm going down through Arkansas, down to Texas, up through the Panhandle, back to Kansas City in eight days. It'll be a great trip. I'm really looking forward to us. Um, I thought you guys celebrate draws as wins. You guys are not celebrating that draw. You guys, you guys drew away at West Ham when we beat them six nil. Like, there's no comparison between Spurs and Arsenal. There's none. 
I'm going to cook you because I I'm getting all this chess that you guys are getting top four and you guys are not, uh, you guys are looking like it might not happen. I think you guys are going to get fifth or sixth more, more likely fifth. You guys have been going from fifth to fifth all season long cubed. And uh, I don't see that changing. I don't see that changing. When was Tom Selleck a Liverpool fan? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't remember him um, donning the Liverpool shirt, but um, Doss wants to be Tom Selleck. So that's the that's the problem. That's the problem. That's the difference between people and uh, and uh, Mr. Doss. Mr. Dush. What else are you guys saying here? Big up, everybody. By the way, make sure that you are smashing the hell out of the likes, people, because we are on the way to 1K. And when I tell you, well, I, I'm going to keep talking about it. When I tell you that this 1K celebration party is going to be off the chain, I mean it. It is going to be off the chain. I mean, probably it's going to be several hours of off the chain. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So let's talk about let's talk about more. Let's talk about. I'm 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 honestly I'm tired of talking about Man City. I'm so tired of it. Um, between that and their stupid Netflix documentary, I I can't I can't. You know, there's 115 reasons why I don't want to talk about Man City anymore. So let's talk about Luton. I yeah, I think I think Luton should be easy work. I don't think that that's too crazy to say. Or oh, you're underestimating Luton. Um, if we lose to Luton, we don't de we don't deserve to be in the in the race. So yeah, I I think we're gonna I think we're gonna beat them. Honestly, I think we're gonna beat them. Um. Yeah, and then we have and then we have um, Brighton, which does worry me because we played Brighton um, in April last season and they beat us seven and they beat us four nil. Um, so obviously that is not an easy game. Uh, we should be beating them. Obviously, if Liverpool can beat them, we can we can beat them. But um, it's it, it's a difficult game. So um, there was a there was an interesting question that we had um, come up here. Let me see because Jaminho put in. A good question that I want to answer about the rotation. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I should have freaking put it. I should have freaking put it in here. Jimmy, you put in that question again for me, bro. Put in that question again for me. Uh, Charlie says, big up TJ, just recovered from our board for us, John, and I almost so boring as your football on Sunday. Yeah, well, at least, you know, there were goals in your game, I guess. Um, But yeah, hold that. You guys, you guys should, you guys should be beating. West Ham. If you guys are going to be getting Champions League football or think you guys are good enough for Champions League football, you guys should be beating West Ham United. Uh, just like I said, we should be beating West Ham United, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jaminho. Thank you. See, this is why Jaminho is an absolute real one. He's been here from day fucking one on this channel. Um, he says, would you rotate any players for the Luton game? Um, I would. I would. Yeah, I would. Um. I don't think we need um, certain players. Saka looked terrible on the right. I would I would sit him. He looked terrible. I don't think we need him to beat Luton. Sorry, like I I don't I don't want to be underestimating the mighty Luton, but yeah, I don't think we need I don't think we need Saka playing, especially after that stink fest he put in. Um, I would give. You know what? I'll just give you my lineup. Um, I don't. People are people are saying sub in Kiwior for this or sub in Zinchenko for this one, maybe. But but Kiwior, I I'm afraid if you sit that guy, like he'll be like, why are you sitting me? So I would put in um, Raya and Net. Obviously, I think that goes without saying. Um, same back four, uh, Kiwior, Starsky and Hutch and White, um, Declan Rice, Jorginho. Um, or you could even go with a Fabio Vieira, Odegaard, Rice. Sorry, I don't rate Luton. I think we can put in a Fabio Vieira or, a, or an ESR and give them a run out for this game. Um, unless ESR is injured again. Um, on the left, Trossard. On the right, I would want to see Jesus or Nelson. And then up top, Havertz. I don't want to see anybody else in the nine other than Havertz. Uh, Eddie and Kedia, you put Eddie and Kedia in that game, he's liable to not score or produce anything. But yeah, I would drop. I would honestly drop Saka um, after that stinker. He might be hurt. 
So yeah. Oh, exactly. See that. Yeah, and that's the thing is you, what, what you'll get with Reese Nelson is he has the speed. He doesn't have the quality, but he has, he sure as shit has the speed and he wants to play. Like that's the difference is he wants to, he wants to play. Um, so yeah, that's he, sorry. My wife just called me and I ignored it. I'll feel, I'll hear, I'll hear about that later. Jamino says Ramsdale. He won't play Ramsdale, Saliba, Gabrielle, Tommy. Asu. Ooh, Tommy Asu, Tommy Asu didn't have it. What did you think of how, how Tommy Asu played against Man City? I don't think he played very well, but that's a shout. I would put Tommy Asu in. You know what? I'll, I'll switch that. Tommy Asu. Um, Tommy Asu, Gabriel. I'll, I agree with that back line. Actually, Jaminio, I agree with that back line. I don't agree with putting Partey in there. He looked like shit against Man City. He looked bad. I, I, I maybe, maybe as a late sub after we have the game over, but um, I would not put. I would not put Thomas Party in this match. He looks slow. He looks off the pace. Um, yeah, I, I just think if you're going to, he needs to get up to fitness or he's lost a step. Like that's just the, the beginning and the end of it, I think. Oh, yeah. So it just, I mean, it is what it is. You know, you get, you, you, sorry, I'm trying to find something here, guys. I'm really, I'm really sorry. One second. Um, yeah, it just is what it is, man. Like all this Thomas Party gas, um, Unfortunately, I, I I think that um, people are over overdoing it a little bit. How do I say that? Like, how do I say this without sounding like a complete prick? Um, I think people are deluded, and they are overrating how much um, Thomas Party means to the club at this point in the um in the in the run out. To be one hundred percent honest with you, like I'm I'm really sorry to be that guy. But, but yeah, hold on guys. I'm really distracted right now, but I need, I need to do something. I just, I got to do something here. I got to get it. I got to get this going one second because, um, in case you guys didn't know, we have a celebrity in, in the chat. We have a celebrity in the chat and I got to, and I got to address this. I'm really, really sorry. I like, I have to, and I don't want to bottle this. So, uh, just, just give me a, just give me a second here. Give me a second. Big up everybody inside, by the way. Make sure that you're smashing the hell out of the likes. Make sure that you are liking the channel, sharing the channel, subscribing to the channel, doing all the things to the channel. All right. No, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. I'm I'm really, really sorry. And I I should have downloaded this before, but di I didn't know if you guys knew this, but but we got um we got a celebrity in the in our midst. Ryan said Ryan says, big up Mr. Negative. Big up to you, Ryan. Big up to you. And I and you know I should have downloaded this, but I didn't have a chance. So we just got it. We're just gonna get to play it live over here. Story. Can here I we just are. say the two girls below us are looking sixteen out of ten today, both of them. Yeah, ten. All right, big up the panel. I told as for <laughs> 16 out of 10, Ryan. 16 out of 10, my guy. Oh my days. Oh, we really got uh no, I'm not. I'm not better than this. I'm not better than this. I'm not. <laughs> I'm I, you, you guys thinking that think that I'm better than this? I am 100 percent not better than this. If I I get clipped up all the time, people bring receipts on me all the time, Ryan. That that is just three-year-old ghosts coming back to haunt you, man. I and you you know who <laughs> you know who is the best person to to take this beating? It's you. It's you, Ryan. So thank you for being so cool. Uh troops Fallis and uh Troops Fallis and Lewis have blood on their hands. No, they don't. No, they don't. Those guys are absolute G's. They can do whatever they want. Yeah, it's on Flawless's IG. Yeah, I know. He sent me a downloaded video of it, and I just didn't get a chance to download it before it. I didn't say I didn't say party was overrated. I just don't I just think people are uh people I I want to clarify this point. People are overgassing Partey before the injuries and before, you know, his 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 performance last season has not translated to this season. That's all I'm saying. I don't think Party's overrated. I don't think he's underrated. I think he's rated. And I think the rate is he needs to be on the bench. That's that's the rate. But yeah, big up every big up everybody inside. Yeah, Ryan, you don't hate Flawless. You love him, bro. If you didn't know Flawless, it wouldn't be for me. I mean, if you didn't know 
flawless, you wouldn't know me. You wouldn't know your favorite Arsenal fan on YouTube. You wouldn't know him. So here I am. By the way, we got 19 inside. Smash the likes up, people. We have more people inside. We have Anthony. He says he's still top of the fantasy football league. I have not looked at that thing, and I don't think I want to. It's probably extremely peak for me right now. Yeah, Ryan, 16 out of 10, bro. Big up Connor inside as well. Charlie is also still here. We got Ozan in here. Big up Ozan. Awkward. Yeah. And then we have the proctologist himself. Dr. Seymour Butts is in the building, people. I wouldn't consider myself a celebrity, but that's thoughtful of you. I would think that you are a celebrity. I think you are a celebrity, Dr. Seymour Butts. I really think you are. I think you are a celebrity. Big up Scott Black. Did I hear you say something about West Ham? I heard that there was a draw that happened at um, the London Stadium tonight. Um, and the Spurs got uh, bubbles blown all over them. That's what I heard. Um, I heard that uh, Spurs moved from fifth to fifth in the table. Shout out, Dal. And uh, we move. They will have a great time. Um, maybe barely getting into the Champions League or playing Europa League. So I can't wait to see Big Ange doing that. Big Ange also um, predicting that they're going to make the Champions League next season. Saw that as well. Oh, okay. I'll believe it when I see it. These are the same Spurs fans that were telling me that they were going to finish above Arsenal before the end of the season. There, there, there are receipts coming, people. There are receipts coming. Yeah, all of our rivals are in the mud, Jimmy. You know, all the rivals are in the absolute bin, bro. And I am so happy about it. I cannot lie to you. Like, Chelsea, it, but at this point, like with Chelsea, it's getting to be a little sad. You know what I mean? Like, how much can you kick a, a, a fan base when they're down? Um, oh, more. More is the answer to that. More, which was by you need, which is why you need to tune into American Waffle after this stream. You will be directed right to American Waffle immediately after the stream so we can make fun of Marshall some more. I'm not going to lie. Where is Miss, Where is Will, Mr. 365? He is back. He is back, by the way. Big up, Will. But yeah, no, uh, that was a rough prediction. And um, those guys over at Tottenham Away are uh, eating some of their words that they were telling us back in October. October is a long time away now. Six months can do a lot to a person. That's all I'm going to say. Scott Black, we blew them bubbles. You blew them bubbles all over those ball, all over those birds on balls. Pause. Does that does that need a pause? I don't think that needs a pause. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Spurs in the absolute shitter. Big up Skolex. Big up my guy. I hope you're well. Um, what is your what is your thing say here? What is your what is your profile picture say? Arsenal reveals a study reveals Arsenal and Liverpool fan have lowest IQ in the Premier League. That's fucked. That's pretty messed up, Skolex. What where does that leave your fan base though? Um Yeah. Anyway, get your guys' questions in. Um I'll I'll get back to what I was talking about with the run out for Arsenal. So yeah. Um I, I expect us to win both games going into um the game the matchup against Bayern next Wednesday. Or is that Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Um, that's three games in seven days, by the way, which is um, a huge, you know, we, we talked about this before. The the amount of games that we have in April is concerning. We need to make sure that we're rotating the squad and giving these players a chance to rest, especially when we're playing against these lower sides like Luton. Um, Luton and I think Luton is the only team that we can truly rest people against. Um, I, I'm not I'm not underrating Chelsea. I'm not. Obviously not underrating Spurs. I'm not underrating Brighton. We can't underrate these teams. We have to we have to put some kind of quality on the pitch because say we lose to Bayern um and we need players to pick us up and we have an injury, like that's that's not good. Like and I, I still feel like any time that this team has a little bit of a heads down performance or needs needs a needs a boost, uh we we have trouble getting them getting it there. You know what I mean? So a loss at this point in the season makes me very, very nervous. So that's why I'm very, very, you know, I'm I'm not celebrating a draw again, but I'm glad that we didn't lose because if we had lost, we have a hard time recovering from losses. So that's that's all I'm saying. No cap TJ, I want you to you guys to advance past Bayern Munich. I would love to advance past Bayern Munich and I want Real Madrid to beat Man City. Um 
Actually, you know what? No, I don't. Um, I think we can beat Man City. I'm not sure if we can beat Real Madrid. Um, you know, better the devil you know than the devil you don't kind of thing. Like I would, if we got past Bayern Munich, and I'm not saying that that's a that's a foregone conclusion. I think we can beat them, but will we? Who knows? Um, we're still not. I'm still not convinced that we can win away in Europe or put it. We're going to need to perform at the Allianz Arena, and um, I don't think that I, I haven't seen enough yet to make me confident that we can do it, um, especially in away Euro competitions. I mean, our, Euro, our European away record isn't great. Um, we lost against Lons. Obviously, we drew away against against PSV, which I don't I don't really count because that was a rubber game, and we slapped Sevilla. So uh, we we only really got like one or two good European victories this season, and then we are, um, yeah, and then we we got slapped in the rest of them, and we got stunned at Porto. So I, I'm not too I'm not too confident in that. Not too confident, but we'll see. We'll see. How many of these teams will get <laughs> – Jesus. This is aggressive, Cubed. Jesus. How many of those teams will Arteta low block for his life like a pussy against TJ? Um, maybe against Spurs, I guess. But I, I, I think that he'll he'll play a, what looks like a low block against you guys until we can activate a uh, – until we can activate a press – and then just stomp all over you. I, I still think we're going to beat you at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. You can say it. You can you can you can clip it if you want. That's fine. Um, and I and by the way, if Jacob, if you're watching this on playback, because I know you just kind of you kind of just creep in the background sometimes. I'm talking to you, Jacob Wallraven, United Spurs of America. You absolute fraud. He was at, at the end of his stream today. He was so frustrated. It was so fun to watch. He said that. Spurs are definitely going to beat Arsenal at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So uh, clip that. We'll see. Clip that. We'll see what happens. Jaminho, do you seriously trust Jorginho to play 90 minutes every three or four days during the run? And I like him, but those performance drops after um, 60 to 75 minutes most of the time. That's why we need Partey fit. Yeah, no, no I agree that we need Partey fit, but at the same but. But that's a big if. Like, we need him, but can he? That's the question that remains to be answered, that needs to be answered. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I mean, if we if he plays against Luton, fine. Like, I, I, I get it. But just the performances that we've seen have been less than convincing. I mean, he got brought on as a sub against Sheffield, and he looked like shit. And we were up. We were up, what, four or five goals at that point when he got subbed on? Like, he didn't look good. He didn't look good yet. He didn't look great against Man City either, giving the ball away. Like I, I that's what I'm saying, guys. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna come out here and and gas up Thomas Party. I'm not gonna do it. He has not given me a reason to gas him up. But we need him fit to at least slot in and do a job. Otherwise, you're having you're you're putting Rice back there by himself by himself, and you're slotting in somebody as a as a box to box like a freaking. Fabio Vieira and or, or an ESR. We're going back to that type of four or of four three three. Like it doesn't it doesn't inspire a lot. When we've seen this, when this team runs a double pivot six, we we've been putting in a lot more solid performances, not only defensively but offensively. Jamino, you're absolutely killing it today. I despise Party obviously for his off the pitch issues, but if they're true, but if he comes across as absolute scumbag as a person, his consi his consistent injuries just piss me off too. Yeah, it pisses me off as well. Considering the player that we had, I'm talking a lot. <sighs> so yeah, what do you guys th what do you guys think? Put it in the chat. We're gonna go for another 20 minutes or so, and then I gotta go over to there to American Waffle. Uh, big up, by the way. Make sure everybody smashes the likes. Make sure that you're subscribing if you're new, and big up all the new subscribers as well. By the way, we are absolutely cooking in the subscriber realm, so we really, really appreciate all you guys have done to support this channel. Um, yeah, no, no. Answer me this question: How many points are we getting? How many points are we getting out of the next three games? So we have we have Luton, we have Brighton. We have Bayern Munich, which they aren't the league, and then I believe we have Villa, which will be a tough one. I, I and um, that'll be my first watch along back from the vacation, by the way. Um, how many points are we getting out of that? Let me know. Let me know how many. 
58 to 1k that means i lost a sub i don't care that's fine yeah no i'm excited man it's it's been this is a lot farther than than i thought the channel would be at this point so i'm absolutely gassed i'm absolutely gassed um thank you for saying that nine points jimino says jimino says nine points jimino i hope you're right that's what i expect though that's the difference is that's what i expect i expect us to get nine points i don't I don't think that we have any reason to lose any of those games. Um, yeah, Charlie, I would be I would be very very interested to know what makes you so confident at home when you guys have trouble putting teams like Luton Town away at home. Um, obviously, form goes out the window when in the North London Derby, but I just I think we're too much. I think as as a as a starting eleven versus starting eleven, I honestly think Arsenal are way too much for you guys. And I, you know, this isn't the same. This is the thing that I keep bringing up, and I'm going to keep bringing it up. I'm sorry. The Arsenal that you see now are, is not the same Arsenal that Spurs visited the Emirates, um, seeing back in October. This this is not the same Arsenal. Like, let's be real. 2024 Arsenal versus 2023 Arsenal. Pre Dubai, post Dubai, it's it's a completely different squad. And the people, people, oh, TJ, you're gassing them up too much. I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Um, we've scored the most most goals, and we're the best defensive team in the league statistically. This is not me lying. This is statistically, we are the best defensive team in the league, and I think we scored the most goals out of any Premier League team in the year of our Lord, 2024. These are facts. These are not opinions. These are facts. So based on current, based on the current form, based on the current outlook, I think we can beat you guys. I'm not saying we're going to turn you over. I'm saying we can beat you. Definitely beat you. See, and then you got, I mean, you guys are depending on Kane to like finish your story for you. Shout out Cody Rhodes. You guys are like, oh yeah, I really hope Kane comes. Boy. He's one of, he's one of our own. You guys, he didn't want to be at Tottenham. He, he wanted to leave. He didn't want to stay. He wanted to leave. So why are you guys still claiming him? That's that's like a big question I have. Like, why are you guys still claiming him? And I'm not trying to make this a, a Totten, like TJ shits on Tottenham stream. I'm not trying to do that. But like, why, why are you guys claiming him when he didn't want to stay? That's crazy to me. He didn't believe in what you guys were doing. So he went to freaking Schnitzelville. He went to Germany. To lose more, apparently. But yeah, like, come on. What are we doing here? Have some pride. If you guys are going to talk shit about, about Spurs, talk about the players that are actually performing for you. Talk about Van de Ven. Talk about Son. Talk about these players that actually believe in what you're doing. Talk about Vicario. Talk about these players that actually believe in, in what Ange is doing and brag on them. Stop talking about these players that didn't want to be there. Like, I'm sorry. Tottenham rant done. Like, that, that, that's, what a loser mentality. That's all I'm going to say. Loser mentality. Says the fan base that still claims Thierry Henry. He left to go to Barcelona. We won us trophies. At that point, he could go. He could do whatever he wanted. We weren't going to win the Champions League. He he saw that. He left for Barca. We, won, we gave him three trophies. He gave us three trophies. More FA Cups. That you're comparing, you're literally comparing black to white. Like it not the same. Not the same. Not the same. 24 likes. Make sure you're smashing them up. We get to 25 before the end of the stream, people. If you are watching this on playback, by the way, too, make sure that you are smashing the like. Leave a comment, and I will reply to every single comment. That being said, I have not replied to the watch long and menu and uh reaction comments yet. I will do that shortly. Don't don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. What's Raz? What are you saying? Score for tomorrow's game. I'm going three nil. Need Saka, Rice, and Odegaard to be rested. I don't think I don't think Odegaard needs a rest. I don't think Rice needs a rest. I don't want you can't rest both of them against Luton. I think you like if you're gonna sub if you're gonna like if I had to choose one of those players to stay in, I would choose Rice because he's just he's so solid. I don't think he needs a rest. So you put you leave Rice in there. Um, if you're going to sub out Odegaard, sub an ESR for Odegaard. And I, like I, I already said at the beginning of the stream, you can go back to the beginning of the stream. I said, if you're going to rest Saka, put Reese Nelson in there. 
or put Gabriel Jesus on the right. Put him on the wings. That's just my opinion. All right, last message, please. I honestly think it's important. What did you say on your... Oh, like the stream. Subscribe to the stream. Absolutely. 100%. Make sure that you are subscribing to the channel, people. We are on the road to 1K. I'm not. I'm going to keep repeating that because I cannot fucking believe that's the case. TJ's rattled. He's afraid of that Bayern game. No, I'm not. Um, Let's see. Every time I come on TJ's show, he's talking about Tottenham and our mentality. Rent free. Oh, well, you don't come by that often. Uh, big up Eli, my CB, my fucking guy. Big up Eli. I'm coming to Texas, Eli. I'm not going to be anywhere near El Paso, but I will be in Austin. Um, I'm coming to Texas land. If you know any good restaurants in Austin, let me know because I'm going to be eating a ton. Um, yeah, but big I, big up Eli every single time. Book of Eli. Make sure that you're subscribing to Sheik TV as well. Um, AJ, if you wouldn't mind putting Sheik's uh, link in the title, and I don't know. Um, if Eli has a link, you can put in there, but mud brothers is one of the best shows footballing shows I've listened to. So make sure that you go and subscribe to Sheik TV. Sheik is an absolute legend. He is my sarcasm city brother. Make sure that you are going and subscribing to him. Um, the mud brother show is fucking hilarious. So King TT was the epitome of the winning mentality. He left cause he knew Barca were building a winning dynasty. So he made it clear to Cess, Cleb, Song, Toure, Nasri, RVP, Cliche, etc. Yeah. No, this is what here, here. Yeah, this is all you need to know. We got Kappa coming in here, dropping absolute knowledge bombs. Yeah. So read this, read this before you go to bed tonight, Cubed. Remind yourself what a winning, um, what a winning franchise actually looks like, what a winning club looks like. And that's Arsenal back in the 2000s. But we haven't win winning since. I'm not gonna lie. We need, we need to do better. Yes. Yes. Everybody, click that link and subscribe. Everybody, click that link and subscribe. I like Outback Steakhouse. I like Outback Steakhouse too. This guy's t this guy's taking the piss. I think that's hilarious. Solid taqueria and, and barbecue options in Austin. Enjoy it. I'm looking for taquerias, man. That's what I'm looking for. I have the best. I have the best barbecue in Kansas City. So I'm looking for taquerias. I'm looking for that authentic Mexican man. I am looking for that authentic Mexican taquerias. Um, yeah, but big up everybody inside. Make sure you're smashing the likes up. Um, get your final questions in. I got 15. We got 15 minutes left. The countdown is on for American Waffle people. Um, it is going to be a barn burner of a show if the group chat had anything to say about it this morning. Good lord, good lord. Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be violent. I'm not going to lie. I'm from the UK, so any American food is great to me. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Outback Steakhouse, fantastic. I, I used to work. I a little a little personal note about me. That was my first job. I was a busser at Outback Steakhouse. That was my first job growing up. Yep, love Outback Steakhouse still to this day. Normally, you know how normally people, you know, you go and work at a restaurant, and you get so tired of that restaurant because you work there. You see the garbage. You take the garbage out and all that shit. You don't want to. You don't want to deal with it. Outback Steakhouse, you couldn't ruin, you could never ruin me on Outback Steakhouse. I'm not gonna lie, so good. No rules, just Roy. That's the only thing from Australia. The only export from Australia I like. Hold that, Ange. Um, Thierry had a winning mentality. He wanted to win the UCL, so he left you. Yeah, he had a winning mentality. We saw his winning mentality when he won us three Premier Leagues and win Invincible. Yeah, we saw that winning mentality. What did Kane do for you? Audi cups don't count. Um, question. If you see Liverpool dropping points, where do you think is most likely? I have an inkling and feeling they're going to see Klopp off on a high note and do the treble. I don't think they're going to do the treble. They're going to. I think they're going to win the Europa League. I think they do the. I think they do a cup double, but um, Premier League is. I think it's too early to 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 say whether or not they're going to win the Premier League. Actually, you know what? Let's go look at Liverpool's schedule. They they're the most favored. That's for sure. Like odds on favorites to win, given the given the um given the schedule that they have, but yeah, let, let, let's, let's do a little screen share. Let's do a little show and tell here, people. Let's do a little show and tell. A little show and tell here. Big up certified, big up my guy. I hope you're well, my brother. I hope you're well. Make sure that you guys are smashing the likes. I got to see a lot of legends coming in and out of here. So we got a, we had a question from Dr. Seymour Butts. He says, if you, if you see Liverpool dropping points, where do you think it's the most likely? Me and me and Connor actually had this conversation. Um, Dow did too. <laughs> Dow did too. Um, 
Where do you see Liverpool dropping points? Well, they're definitely not dropping points against Sheffield. So that's three right there. Um, this right here, I think, is not being talked about enough. United versus Liverpool. I don't think that I don't think that Man United are going to let Liverpool come in there and just slap three on them. I think that Man United will stand up to Liverpool, just like they did at the Anfield. At Anfield, they may park the bus. I don't care, but do anything you need to do to take points off of these guys. If I'm Man United, I would be trying to ruin these guys' this season. And if that means playing a low block, freaking dark arts football, do it. Do it. Big up TK, my guy, my fucking guy. One of my one of my favorite guys on YouTube. I'm not gonna lie. Big up TK, absolute legend. Yeah, big up legends. Rad Army. Yes, we are part of the Rad Army. All of us are. Well, most of us are. I'm not gonna lie. How you been, my guy? I'm great, man. I'm great. I'm I'm fantastic. I'm I'm streaming all night long before I go on vacation with my wife tomorrow, dude. I'm living the dream. I'm not gonna lie. No more work. I don't have to work for a week. Woo! I don't have to work for a week. I'm fucking stoked. Martinez, Lindelof, Varane are injured, I think. Maguire and Evans in defense for Man United. Yeah, that is pretty bad. But then again, then again, Evans and Maguire have put in shifts. Maybe I am being too hopeful. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Atalanta, they're going to slap at home. It's probably going to be like a four, three or four nil, so they won't have to worry about the second legs. They can they can play the kids. Um, Crystal Palace, Liverpool. Crystal Palace will get turned over. Woy will get turned over. I can't believe that guy's still in the job. Thank you very much, my guy, I, AJ. You're an absolute ledge. 29 likes. Let's make sure that you guys are subscribing to the channel as well. If you are liking the thing, I appreciate you liking the thing. Um, this one is also not being talked about enough. And I know Fulham lost today. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But this one is not being talked about enough. So what Fulham are a little bit of anom an anomaly. Like against the top five, they've done very, very well at home. They stole, they stole five points from us. They can They can stifle teams if they want to. Um, at Craven Cottage. So this is another one that I think is a potential for them to lose points. Same with Everton. Like these two games back to back are not fantastic for, for Liverpool. They are, they could easily drop points to Everton. Um, last game at Goodison Park. Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully Everton aren't going down. Um, but last game at Goodison for um, the Merseyside Derby. I'm telling you, man, there's going to, they're going to be up for that match. They're going to be up for that match. 100%. Bye, Cubed. See you later. See you later. Oh, Roy is no longer in the Crystal Palace job. I didn't know that. See, that? that's how much I pay attention to Crystal Palace. Um, They won't drop more than five, maybe six maximum. Am I good? Oh, okay. See, that's how much I, be, I pay attention to freaking Crystal Palace. Everton and Deitch will be out for the kill. Thank you for the correction, by the way. I'm not saying I'm 100% right on this channel all the time. I have nev never said that, so thank you for the correction. I welcome corrections. Um, yeah, these two, these two are scary. West Ham, I don't, I, I think Liverpool will win that. Um, people are saying that we, I should be afraid of Spurs going into Anfield, but I think that's a three-one Liverpool. They haven't forgotten that loss at the beginning of the season. I don't think any, I said that back in October when that happened, or it was the last day of September. Actually, I remember September 31st. Um, I said May 4th is going to be a massacre. I don't think it's going to be a massacre. Um, so I'll take that back, but I think, uh, I'm still looking at, I'm looking at this Liverpool Tottenham match and I think that, um, Liverpool will win that. Um, and then they still have Aston Villa away, which is not easy. So yeah, Aston Villa away, and then Wolves at home, and then that's the end. So yeah, I I can see there's potential for them to drop, um, four or five points there. So yeah, I think um, Aston Villa is going to be difficult for them. Everton's going to be difficult for them. Fulham's going to be difficult for them, and United and United's going to be difficult for them. So I'm not saying that they can't win those games. Obviously, they will win one or two of those, but there's potential for them to drop points. That's all I'm saying. Um, but big up, big up. What a great question. I, I love that question because I like looking at these schedules and overthinking it like everybody else does. But yeah, and then um, and then um, Jaime, if you're still in the chat, we got we got this one. We got this one. I'll be at that one. Lincoln Memorial Field, baby. Let's go. Lincoln. Oh, Lincoln, not Lincoln Memorial. Lincoln Financial Field. The link. 
in Philly, we will be watching Liverpool take on um, Arsenal live, baby. Live. It's live. It's live. Big up. By the way, speaking of legend, legends, we got Sky here. We got Sunshine FC here. Big up, Sunshine FC. Make sure you're subscribing to Sunshine FC. She is not a deluded Man United fan, which is which is good because we have a couple that we know. So, uh, yeah, make, make sure you're subscribing to Sunshine FC. Lissandra's hurt again. It's comical. What's wrong with Man United? What's wrong with Man United? You know what it is? It's your head doctor. That's what it is. We sent him to you. He's a double agent. You guys want to talk about Jesus being a double agent? We sent you our we sent you our team doctor. Now everybody's injured. How about that? How about that? Chelsea are back to twelfth. Yeah, people keep bringing that up. I love that. I love that. It's it's just like you know, kicking kicking the kid while he's down, and keep kicking him because I, if I have to hear that Champions of Europe, you'll never sing that song um, from another Chelsea fan again. I'm probably gonna lose my fucking mind. What isn't wrong with United? That's a better question. Dal, that's a better question. You gave us a fraudulent doctor. Yes, we did. Enjoy that. Hold that. Hold that. Yeah, no, you can blame me all you want. Hold that. Hold that. Let's see how long we can go before Staffy starts messaging me, asking me where I am for American Waffle. Let's keep doing that. You guys, we will be going over to American Waffle immediately after this, so stick with us, and we will be there soon. I think um, he Staffy is finishing up with Saeed. And I'm finishing up with you guys. So big up. Woo! Big up. Oh, TK, thank you for the super chat, my guy. You are an absolute legend. Big up, my guy, TJ. Pay your rent, chat, and like. Yes, pay the toll, people. Pay the toll. Yes, absolutely. And that's not dropping a super chat. That's not paying the toll. The like button is the, it, the, like button is the toll, people. Paying Connor. Yeah, we're paying Connor. Yeah, don't forget. Connor is a starving artist, people. Connor, if you're still in the chat, hold this. Connor's a starving artist. He needs to eat. Otherwise, he doesn't eat. And then he and then you go over to CMO Sports. You're just watching a skeleton talk about football. It's not a, it's not an Arsenal channel. It's a skeletal football channel. That's what it is. That's what it is. TJ, I do have one question for you, please. I believe we go 7-1-1. One, and one. So do we go all in for the Champions League? Because the logic is the league is done i don't think the league is done i don't think the league is done i think other teams will drop points i think other teams will drop points if we go seven one and one who do we lose to who, who do you have us losing to aj that's my question villa united away because we always seem to step on our own dicks pause at um at old trafford i where I see us dropping points are, and I talk shit, but but Villa Spurs and United, Villa Spurs and United. No Diddy, I don't even know what I said. I don't even remember what I said anymore. To be honest, I like start shooting. I start shooting on this show, and I uh, I just forget. I I just forget where I am, and then people call and say no Diddy. I'm like I'm sorry. Wolves away will be difficult. Wolves away will be difficult. That's one. That's one where, you know, Arsenal fans will start get, talking with chest and then we go away and Gary O'Neill steals two points from us or something. That would be brutal. That would be absolutely brutal. But it's also going to depend on how fit our squad is too um, after we um, get done with the Champions League, no matter where we are. Just saying. Just saying. No Hove. Yeah, no, J no Jay-Z, just a rumor. Yeah, it's a smaller size that we f up to when we when it when it happens. Yeah, Southampton, Brighton. Ugh, don't remind me. West Ham last season too. Oh, you said stat. Oh yeah, pause. That's a big pause. Yeah, that's a big pause. My bad. <laughs> Woo! Oops. Thanks for catching me there. Thanks for catching me. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a big old oops on that one. I'm a big up Eli. Eli keeping me on the rails that's what we're talking about that's what we're talking about let's keep it cruising let's keep it cruising final thoughts people final thoughts Moise loves arteta and did us a solid today big up david david moise moise uh you know and but dal here's the thing is like you got to remember that i don't really care whether tottenham win or lose it doesn't really matter because they're not anywhere near us 
So it's just to shit on him more. And, uh, you know, if we're going to talk about Tottenham, I think they need to be within, you know, 10 points of us. Where where are they in the table? Where are they in the table right now? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Yeah. So they're 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 eight points behind us. I think they need to be six points behind us before they shit before we shit on them or they shit on us. Um, Solemn Gooner, big up Solemn Gooner, my guy. I watched some of your show earlier. Big up, my guy. Big up. I love that we have all the Gooner channels from all over the world following each other, supporting each other. I really, really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it, my guy. I hope you're well as well. I smashed a like on your latest video. Um, big up Dow for the $10 Super Chat Vacation Beer Fund. Thank you, Dow. You're an absolute legend, man. You're an absolute legend. I'll, uh, I will definitely be buying several beers, several shots, several um, wines for um, me and my lovely bride. So I really, really appreciate it, my guy. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. You are an absolute legend. Go and subscribe to Oregon Goon as well and yes thank you for putting solemn in the chat people thank you aj again go and subscribe to all of the arsenal channels um if i recommend the channel it's okay right it has to be all right except for that fraud jacob you know but but other than that just kidding jacob's an absolute legend other than you know other than his um his issues with uh his the team that he chose all right, so I'm getting summoned. I'm getting summoned now. Best mod on YouTube, AJ. Absolutely. Cheers. Yep, off and running. All right, guys, that has been, that is it for this show today. It is one of those things, episode seven. You will catch me over on American Waffle right now. You don't need to go anywhere. All you need to do is stay right here, and you will be redirected to Staffy TV, where we will cook Jacob. We will cook Vader. We will be respectful to... Uh, Doss because he's top of the league um, and we will talk more shit in general oh yeah and we will shit on Marshall because who doesn't like shitting on Chelsea right um, thank you everybody who supported me um, today thank you to TK for the super chat thank you again for debt to Dow for the super chat thank you all for liking the stream we got the 30 likes you guys are absolute legends if you're watching this on playback make sure that you're smashing the like commenting on the video Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you didn't like it. Either way, smash a like. Don't be a freeloader. We will see you in a few minutes over on Staffy's channel, and I may do a gaming stream later tonight, so keep an eye out. Later.